We are the resource for animals in the District of Columbia. We've done everything from catching the red panda when it got out of the zoo to dealing with a black bear. Our animal rescue team, our animal control team rather, that goes out and does rescue. Our uh, animal uh, humane law enforcement team, which is out there investigating animal cruelty. Wildlife program, which uh, addresses uh, human wildlife conflicts. I have a team of eight animal control officers, three animal control investigators, four dispatchers, and a wildlife specialist. I am a dispatcher in the Animal Control Service Division. We dispatch officers to different locations depending on the emergency and situation. As a humane law enforcement officer, we investigate allegations of animal cruelty. We try and do our best to educate pet families and keep pets in the home. We solve more cases in the living room than we do in the courtroom. Uh, do the initial behavior eval to you know, determine their personality, um, best homes for them to, to go to. I work with our foster homes on behavior problems or questions that they have. Uh, I also take uh, calls for the public for behavior consultations. We have fostered, oh my gosh, 11? 11 dogs this 11 year. 11 dogs this year. People should adopt from WHS because they have so many different animals that are just wonderful. We help people figure out what they're looking for. We'll tell you all their history, their, their medical status, what we know about their behavior. You even get a free checkup. I've had Tessie for three weeks. She definitely got a, a rough start. She was about 24 hours away from giving birth. They saved her life and her puppy's lives. I think uh, WHS is a great organization. I have never been in love the way that I am in love with Tess. In the community, WHS is making such a huge difference. Pets for Life is a program that offers free spay-neuter services, vaccinations, nail trims, front line for fleas and ticks, and also pet supplies, whether it's food, leash, collar, litters, and these are to help people to keep their pets. The fact that people love their pets, they just don't have some of the resources in order to keep their pets. The real reason that it's so important to me to help people keep their pets in their home is because they're family. The Safe Haven program is a program that we have for anybody that's seeking um, help with their animals that's stopping them from getting into a domestic violence shelter. When they do decide to leave the situation, they're not allowed into shelters with their animals. You can leave your pets with us. We guarantee you that they will be safe on your return. Cat Neighborhood Partnership Program. Uh, we work with the outdoor cats in D.C. Any cat in your neighborhood that's homeless, that is considered a community cat, you can trap them. WHS will provide the traps, bring them in to get them spayed and neutered, and then they're returned back to the community. We do low-cost spay and neutering, so all public um, dogs and cats. If there's any other um, surgeries that need to be performed throughout the week, um, so that also includes doing all physical exams in the morning, making sure all the animals are healthy enough to um, handle the surgery, and then following through um, post-op. When I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do, I knew I, I needed something where I could see the impact that I'm having. After volunteering here for about a year, uh, I realized that I do want to be a vet. I think maybe my future might be in a shelter. I think I want to do shelter medicine. Who would not want to help animals? I am a volunteer pack leader for the People and Animal Cardio Club. We run with the dogs on Saturday mornings. We now go out every Saturday, rain or shine, snow, sleet. The dogs are happy to get out there. There's so many homeless animals, help them find homes, make them comfortable. You can see uh, the difference you're making. I have heard from so many people, I don't know how you can do it because it seems to me it would be so sad. And I just want people to understand that it is not sad. It is the most affirming thing that I do during my week. That every time that I walk into the shelter, there is an opportunity to make a difference to the animals 
to our community. There's a big city out there, there's a lot of animals, there's a lot of people that we need to spread the word to, and it can't be done alone.